Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Sunday, March 5, 2017. Yes, another milestone with the 1960 Cruisers Seafarer. The top sides have been stripped and she's ready for next steps. Uh, we were very pleased as uh, we stripped the uh, top side strakes. They're just in excellent shape. We didn't find a single ding, nick, uh, soft spot, delamination, anywhere. What we did find, however, is that all of the fasteners are loose. But the good news is, with a handheld screwdriver, we can tighten every one without replacing it. They, they go in and they bite. Of course, this is helped by the fact that all of the intermediate fasteners, all of these between ribs actually have machine threads and flat washers and nuts on the back side. So unless they spin, I am able to tighten them from the outside, which is a great boon. Now, why did I begin removing fasteners and suspecting that they were tight. Well, if we take a look, get my tools, if we take a look right in this area, area where I'm working right now, these are the fasteners on the ribs. Uh, they've already been tightened to this point. Uh, I got suspicious when inserting a probe simply pops the caulking out. The caulking has failed. It's not adhering to anything. It just pops right out and pretty much leaves a clean screw head behind it. I, my procedure is to hit it with the probe as I'm doing now, and then use an air shock to finish cleaning so that I have some good threads to go after. Now, are they loose? One, two, there's full turn and a half, but it's tight. Let's see about this one. One. Uh, not quite a full turn. And next, even less, but I'm able to tighten them. And the screws on the uh, on the ribs, I am able to tighten. So I am going through. I've already done this row. I'm going through all fasteners on the bottom. I will be exposing every single one. Screwing them tight, haven't found a single spinner, that's sort of, I guess, the obverse of Murphy's Law. Uh, but if we look right here where you see the, the three black marks, I am marking any uh, fasteners that spin. Uh, what we'll do afterwards is uh, RJ being the uh, smallest of the three of us wins the prize of climbing underneath with a uh, socket wrench, a, a deep socket wrench and tightening those nuts from the inside while I hold the screws from the outside. Once we have both sides completely tightened not refastened. We're, we're using the original fasteners in 99% of the cases. I have replaced uh, two or three of the fasteners on the ribs at this point, working from the, from the bow back. But in general, these are really in good shape. They're just loose. And it is time consuming, but it's also critically important. Once we have her refastened, we will Bring out the uh, 3M Premium Marine filler, fill and fair all of these holes 
and that it will take three coats to do so, especially on the top sides where uh, the strakes will be painted with uh, Interlux uh, semi-gloss yacht enamel and a nice brilliant red boot stripe. That is going to, that combination will show uh, any fastener countersink that we fail to fill and sand absolutely fair. The bottom will be sanded fair. We will first prime and paint the bottom. Uh, it will receive uh, Pettit hard racing bronze. The primer will be Pettit tie coat primer. There will be three coats of the primer, two coats of the bronze. We will then apply the bootstripe and the top sides. And then one other detail at this point. Some of these cruiser's stems were finished bright. This one uh, was not. So as a result, uh, we've stripped it, replaced the caulking with by uh, wooden bugs, and we will finish it right from the water line to the rub rail. So that's where we are on Sunday, March 5, another milestone for the 1960 Cruisers Seafarer. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works. <laughs>